Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech so the last time we have created a video for the pixel x friends first android 12 l based custom rom for the oneplus 9 rt you can check that from the right side card video in the final verdict of the video i told you to wait for the lineage os 19.1 video and finally wait is over i will not show the installation of rom because it's the same as the pixel x friends but the rom didn't comes with the gf in build so i just shown the how to install the gf separately after flashing the rom Except this, we will see all the basic things are working in the ROM or not, as it is the initial build. We will see the about phone, full sensor test. Next, we will do the performance and the stability test, camera overview, and the battery performance of the ROM. In the final verdict, I will tell you which is better, Pixel Experience or the Lineage OS. So watch the video till the end. Now, without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. So I flashed the ROM using the fast boot and booted with the amazing signature boot animation of the ROM. At the first, we need to complete the whole setup. As ROM didn't comes with the G apps, we will not get any of the Google apps in the ROM. So you have choice to flash the macro G if you didn't want the Google apps. Now we'll see how to flash the G apps. For that, we need to boot in a stock lineage OS recovery. So we'll enable the at once reboot. For that, go to the settings and under the system, we'll get the buttons option. In that, enable the advanced restart. Now long press the power button, tap restart, we'll get the reboot to the recovery. Select that. In the recovery, using the volume keys and the power button, select apply update option. Select ADB side load. Now connect phone to the PC. Now download the NickJS basic package on the PC from the link given under the video description. Rename it to the simple one, anything that you want, like here I done it as a NickJS. Now open the CMD window in the same folder where you place the GApps and then type ADB devices. CMD will detect the device as the ADB side load device. Now type command ADB side load package name dot zip. Enter and flashing will start. Now in the lineage OS recovery, go back and select the reboot to the system now. So all the things are done. Now we'll check about phone section of the device. So this is the Android 12.1, also called as 12L with the old Android 12 Easter egg. This one is the Lineage OS version 19.1 with its own awesome easter egg. Security patch is of 5th April 2022. Kernel version is 5.4.86. This ROM is built on 5th May 2022. As this is the initial build, let's check the all the basic things are working or not in the ROM. Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi hotspots are working with the 5 hertz network. There will be no any speed drop in the network connection. Bluetooth connection is also stable. We can connect the Bluetooth devices and they support the HD audio. Here I connected my Oppo Echno M31 earphones and they support the LDAC, SCC and SBC codecs. If your device has the aptX audio codecs, that will be also work in the ROM. Flashlight is also working in the ROM. Auto rotations are working as all the sensors are working in the ROM. But the sound in the video playback seems lower and when I try to increase it to the higher volume, earpiece speaker starts to crackle. This small issue I found here, but the audio in the Bluetooth devices seems fine. OnePlus signature item or slider is working without the issue. So NFC is working in the ROM as we've seen it is broken in the Pixel experience. So this one is the nice addition. ROM has the stable IMS OLT network and the Wi-Fi calling. All the incoming and the outgoing calls work seamlessly with the clear audio in the calls. But ROM didn't suppose the call recording feature that were present in the Pixel experience. GPS is working very fast, it detects the location precisely. Under display fingerprint is working very good. There will be no any high brightness issue while unlocking using the fingerprint. ROM has encryption support. If we check the security setting, we can see the ROM is encrypted. Now it's time to test the hardware level things like the sensors. So all the sensors like the accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope are working. Only barometer will not work because our device doesn't have this sensor. I also check out some other things like the ear proximity, it's also working. Microphone, multi-touch, display, all the things are just perfect, no worry about them. So let's check the performance of the device, but before that we will see the device thermal temperatures. It's very surprising that all the temperatures are very low as compared to the Pixel S Friends ROM. It is between 38 to 41 degrees Celsius only. Battery temperature is also low, only 37 degrees Celsius. Then I run the Geekbench test and surprisingly it's outstanding. I got 849 for the single core 
which is good not the best but for the multi core i got 3070 it is at the top but i seen that some sites multi core results were up to the 3500 on the stock oxynos rom but anyway these results are better than the pixel s friends rom now let's do the gpu performance test on the open gel drivers and here i got the average results of 4732 which is good rom is very snappy everywhere in the games in the day to day applications but after doing the test temperature of the device ryzen to some extent but they are not so very high as snap 78 check still got failed here which is similar to the pixel s friends rom but the void one test got passed here with the l1 security so we can stream the netflix and the amazon prime with the full hd resolution it's time to check the stability of the rom using the cpu throttle i done the test for the 7 minutes and the cpu throttle to the 86% obviously we ran the test for the 7 minutes which is higher than the pixel s friends test so the results are lower as compared to the pixel s friends rom results was heavy so the temperature rise into the 48 to 56 degrees celsius battery temperature was rise into 46 degrees celsius so rom still pretty good in terms of the stability and can withstand the heavy tasks let's check the camera so rom has the normal inbuilt camera which i will not discuss here so i installed the gcam built by the xiaomi in the rom camera has all the features working like the night sight portrait mode panorama mode photo sphere mode here all modes are working In the video shooting both the slow motion and time lapse works only one thing is not working is the 4K recording even on 30 or 60 fps it's causing the force close up camera application here are two samples of the main camera portrait modes which has good camera blur but the selfie camera didn't show any camera blur in the portrait shots so it seems that the selfie camera portrait mode is buggy So let's check the gaming performance but before checking the game performance I kept the phone at the force 120 hertz using the developer setting of the phone and kept the notification enabled all the time to keep the watch on the refresh rate in the BGM I graphics ultra hd setting is available but it requires the download in the graphics data which was pending so I played at the hdr mode I kept the frame rate at the extreme level All the gaming experience on this device is already very impressive on the stock ROM but even on the Lineage OS who gets the amazing touch response and the performance graphics quality is absolutely stunning speaker sound output is very good there will be no any frame drops in the games overall i can say the gaming experience is amazing so final question arises in the mind is how is battery life i used the device about 1 and 1/2 day after flashing the ROM this one is the second charge cycle Strange thing is that the Google Play services has maximum battery uses as it is not optimized in the ROM. Second app is the BGMI, screen on time is about 3 hours only and the standby time is about 1 day. Overall usage is the low because I didn't use the device a lot but the camera app drain is okay in the ROM as I used it for the 8 minutes and the battery drain was 4% which was very high in case of Pixel S friends. So I can say the overall battery of the Lineage OS ROM is not great but it's okay. I need one to two battery cycles to give my final verdict about the battery. What are the bugs in the ROM? I didn't found any major bug but that OK Google bug is still here. It's saying OK Google not available on this device. But you can use the right side card magic module video to activate this feature after rooting your device. ROM has off screen DIY gesture feature. It works but sometimes it's buggy. It didn't activate the desired task even after drawing the correct gesture on the AOD screen. Last is not the bug but the feature that not available in the ROM like Lineage OS does not comes with the Pixel launcher. So no last five used wallpaper tweaks which will be seen on the home screen. No at a glance shortcut, no web and the Pixel links tab in a recent screen. All the features available in the Lineage OS 19.1 are already discussed in the right side card video. So I will not discuss that here again. So what is my final verdict as compared to the Pixel S friends? Lineage OS has some plus points like this ROM is more battery efficient than the Pixel S friends. NFC is working in the Lineage OS which may be deal breaking to use the Pixel S friends ROM. Geekbench test is lagging behind the 500 points for the Pixel S friends than the Lineage OS, but still the Pixel S friends is good as compared to the Lineage OS. Lineage OS is trusted and the best source for the most of the rom as compared to the pixel s friends 
So clear winner is the Lineage OS. That's it's all about the Lineage OS 19.1 for the OnePlus 9RT. If you think I help you, please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.